Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe so that you can become a part of the winning family. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. It is July the 7th, so it's 7 11 2020. How are you guys doing? How's everything going for you? How is the family doing? How are your kids? How is your husband? Your better half doing? Your wife? Um, how's the family doing? How are y'all guys doing? I hope everybody is well. So, um, it is a little later on in the evening. It's, um, I'm going to see what time it is, guys. It is, I think it's after 9 o'clock. So, it's a little bit quiet in my house. Um, me and my husband both had funerals to go to today. Both of them were 11 o'clock. Um, hit one of his church members, passed away. And then my church member, her husband, passed away. Both funerals were... Um, they were in different locations, of course. They both were 11 o'clock this morning. They both were outside. Um, the one that I was at, there was a tent there. We were encouraged to bring chairs because the chair seating was limited. So me and my sisters, we had our lawn chairs and we used our lawn chairs. And it was in the parking lot. Um, it was hot out there. Um, everybody, most of everybody there had masks on. I think everybody there had masks on. So we were masked. Uh, we were in the sun, and so it was, you know, but we made it through. We were there to support, and that's what we did. We supported and everything, and so we got through it. So that was kind of a draining for everyone, <laughs> but, you know, the good thing about it, it was over early. So I was able to, you know, get back home at a decent time and kind of, like, cook and then, you know, chill out. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm chilling out, but I wanted to come and update you guys. Um... On my weight, I am now 25 pounds down. Yeah, I'm 25, 25 pounds down now, and I'm excited about that. And so, um, you know, it's just one day at a time, one pound at a time through slip ups and everything. We're still here, but you know, it's 7 Eleven. But I was thinking about. A little story time for you guys to tell you all because I don't think I ever shared this on my channel. I'm going to share this and I'm going to be gone. Um, but I was thinking back to 9-11. When 9-11 happened, you all remember when that happened, where you were, what you were doing. And I was just thinking about um, where I was because I was thinking, I was I thought about it because I was watching Dame Dash's video. He was talking about how he wanted to go out the country for his birthday, but he didn't want to get stuck anywhere. So on 9-11, the morning that it happened... Me, my sisters, and my mom, we were on, and a friend of mine and her mom, we were actually on a cruise. And that morning, we had just got to the Bahamas. And I can remember it, 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 I can remember it as clear as day. Um, we were getting off of the elevator, and people were just standing in the lobby. They were watching the big TV monitors, and you could see the planes going into the buildings. And we had absolutely no clue, no idea to what was happening. And then we found out what was actually happening. And we didn't know how it was going to affect us. And we really didn't think that it was going to affect us at all until we started coming back. And we came back through customs, um, which took a long time. And then when we finally got back and we depart deported, we found out that all the flights were canceled. So we're gonna have to, they put us up in a hotel room for one night to find out that the flights were still canceled. Um, and so we had to find a way to get back home. Um, it was awful because I felt so bad for people that had flew in to Florida from places like New York City. Um, they had came from long places far away, and they just did not know how they were going to get back home. Um, we had the option to drive because we live in South Carolina, so it only took eight hours. Um, it 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 was it was it was real scary um, because the whole atmosphere, everything was just so different. People didn't know what was going on. People didn't know what was going to happen. It was horrible. But we were able to finally get out of Florida. We rented cars. Um, uh, my family, my, my mom, my sister, and myself, 
we rented cars, my friend and her mom, they rented a car and we were able to, you know, get out of Florida. It was very scary, but we made it home by the grace of God because we didn't know, we didn't even know how we were really gonna get home. We didn't know what was going on. It was just, the airport was a nightmare. Um, you know, getting off the boat and stuff was a total nightmare. It was all chaotic and we were in the heat, in the heat of it. And so, um, I remember that and I remember never, ever wanting to be caught up in anything like that again. So when he said that, that just triggered the memory of how I felt when we didn't know if we were going to get back home or not. And so right now, everybody really needs to be safe. Um, be secure. I like to get home. If I go out somewhere, I like to get back home because there's so many things that are happening. People are acting crazy. People are saying things, doing things that don't make any type of sense. And you just don't know what's going to happen. I was looking at Tosh Point Fro's video when she was eating the tomahawk steak uh, the other day. I think it was actually Friday. Her video came out and she's talking about how she was in um, the grocery store and a man got down on all fours on the floor and was looking up her dress. So people are doing all types of crazy stuff. And I just like to go out and get what I got to get and come back home. As far as like traveling stuff, I don't even want to be out there traveling, doing anything right now because of how the climate is with the foolishness. Um, and some people, you know, they, they're taking chances. They're going places. They don't care. Um, they're okay with it. And I get it. You want to go somewhere. You you know, you want to get out the house. I get it. I just take a drive. But, you know, if you're going to travel, if you're going to do things, if you're going to be out there, guys, even when you go to grocery store, Walmart, Target, wherever you go, please, ma'am, please, sir, be safe at all times. Um... I don't know if people, you know, any of you all carry weapons or your license or you, you, you know, some people may be against it, you know, carrying weapons and stuff. But, it, I mean, it's almost like you need to be packed, packing and ready at any moment if something should pop off. And it is crazy to say that, to think that way. I'm not packing like that, guys. Um, but you know, my husband and I have talked about it and he was like, well, you, you may need to pay him. You may need to go ahead and, you know, get your license to carry, you know, just to be safe and just to, you know, to have the extra protection. So we have talked a little bit about it, but we haven't acted on it yet. Um, my mom, she is, um, you know, she lives alone. She's older and, and, you know, she needs that protection. She needs that safety. Um, she um, does have an alarm and stuff on her house. She has extra safety things going around her house that she uses. But, you know, single women, you know, women who are by themselves, you definitely, definitely, definitely need to make sure that you're safe. And, you know, know your surroundings and, and know who's around you. But I just wanted to say that. And, um, yeah, so I love you all. Thank you so much. For those of you who have subscribed to my channel, this was a little different video. I did do a bit of an update, um, you know, on my weight. So I have lost um, 25 pounds and I'm going to put over here on the screen, um, probably this way, what my starting weight was. I think it was April 18th when I started. I was like at, you know, this weight and today I'm this, this weight right here. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to update you all. Thank you so much for following my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching the whole video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Y'all be safe. And I love you guys. See you in the next vlog.